everyone, it's Rachel. So for my November TBR, I kind of promised to talk a little bit about my writing process. I said I wasn't re quite ready to do the author newbie video and I plan to jump more into author tube once my, I plan to jump into author tube once my school study program is done and that will be done in May of 2021. So until then, I'm still kind of more of a dabbler with writing. And this channel is going to be still more strictly booktube related. But it is November, and it is NaNoWriMo. And so I am doing that. I am currently about 9,000 words behind, which is normal. It, it's normal. I tend to have some good days, and then I have some really bad days. Now, I will say that this year there have been some days that were just doing, I was writing papers and didn't get a chance to write in my story, and so I counted the word count for those papers because that was a lot of writing. And yeah, and so maybe it's cheating, but I don't care. I am counting it this year. So for my writing process, I am a character-driven author what that means is what that means is for me the characters are what come to me first it's like meeting someone and you start talking to them and then you I'm like oh they're kind of interesting and so that's how it is for me i before i start writing i know who my character at least my main character's name is i know their name and some vague details about them. I don't go into too much detail. I'm not somebody who does like a personality quiz or list. Um, however, I do like to look, however, I do like to think of what their strengths are. And my current job, when I started, actually gave me a book called Strength Finders. And you took a quiz and then you online and gave you your five strengths. I know a lot of writing advice suggests that you start from your we or start from your character's weaknesses to make sure that they're there but i like to start from their strengths because for whatever they're strong at kind of will show me what they are weaker at so i do it in reverse but also i use their strengths to kind of help guide their personality so if somebody has like a developer personality, and this is like developer going off of the Strength Finders book, means they like to build people up and see them reach their potential. So if they have a developer personality, maybe my character is a teacher or a counselor. And since they're so focused on making sure other people are developing into fully fledged people, could be that they're neglecting their own social life. So that would be a weakness based on, you know, kind of opposite of their strength or even like in conjunction with their strength. And so, but there's different ways to play with that instead of just being like, oh, they don't, or like, oh, they're really clumsy or they're naive. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't like going off of weaknesses to determine who my characters are, like looking for their strengths, because their strengths, like I said, determine their personality, which then determines if they get into a story or not. And so I know another conventional writing wisdom is to have a plot, and I don't. I My first stories, when they start, are normally, I so I like I start with my characters, and then when I start writing, it's discovery writing. And it's generally and it's generally a dialogue. So it's a characters talking to one another, or my character talking to like her family or her friends or those around her. I, I write a lot of female characters. That's what I relate to more at this point. As I get to be a better author, then I do hope to expand a little bit more. But most of my characters that I write are female. Hey, I'm female too. So yeah, so then as I'm writing my zero draft, I 
this initial discovery writing I call my zero draft because there's no plot, there's no, no rhyme or reason, and I kind of jump around to different conversations is more how this goes. So I call it my zero draft. I call it my first draft is when you start to see more plot elements like, oh, these are how these things can connect. That I go for first draft. Zero draft is just let me get things on the page and figure out who are my characters. Now, like I said, my main character, I know their name from the beginning. My inspiration for characters can be taken from a name, but that's how I usually, that's how I started when I was younger. But now it can also be taken from a photo, picture, or um, a song. Like if I ha I've had that inspiration for characters as well. So there's not one way to have me like connect to a character. And then, and like I said, so my first, and so my first, no, the, 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 and so my first drafts are always full of dialogue. And then my first draft is going back into that dialogue and refining it and adding in descriptions of things. In the first one, everyone just kind of word vomits and they say how they feel no matter what the situation is. And then when I go back in, I go, well, this character wouldn't actually say how they feel at this time. And so that does change the conversations, but not the essence of what the scene is. So my biggest problem as a writer is the finishing. I have, I've done NaNoWriMo for nine, well, this is my ninth year, if I remember right. Um, and I've gotten several stories through that first zero draft point. I've only taken two stories where I am working on the first draft. So I'm going through that process of layering and information. Probably will cue a picture here of my writing board and you'll see that there are a lot of concept ideas, but not a lot of movement up towards, you know, where I would be comfortable with other people reading my ideas. The one exception of that is my sister. Ever since we were younger, I would have her read things because she's a great cheerleader going, oh, this idea is really working. I want to know more. Or, eh, that idea wasn't so interesting. And then I know eh, either that story needs to be way more reworked or put to the side for now. But I'm really, really bad about actually finishing those stories. So that is going to be like my 2021 goal is taking some stories that I've already done the zero draft and finishing a full first draft. So yeah, so thank you for joining me today and hearing a little bit about my writing process. Like I, I know this wasn't so much book related. If you have any questions or if you are a writer as well, leave a comment down below and let me know. Have a great day. Bye.